Hello friends, nice to be here with you on the mat again and um, the weather is um, bad again um, it's morning here but it looks like late evening <laughs> I know and however um, well that doesn't affect me thinking about having a wonderful juicy stretchy flow this morning and I'd like to share with you guys this funky a little spicy and most of all very you know sweet and juicy and stretching flow with you it's a whole body balancing flow focus a little bit of with core strength and I hope you all like it with me with that being said let's meet on the mat all right we will stand in the top at the top of our mat feet hip distance wide and we'll do a one round of sun salutation um, although that I don't have a song here I hope you all have a song over there that you can bow to the sun I know the sun is somewhere behind the clouds so I will salute to the sun anyways uh, just stand still in mountain pose three rounds of breath make a connection uh, between the body and your mind calm down let the negativity out as I am doing so. Inhale, arms up, gaze follow, lengthen the side of the torso, exhale gently, bend at hips, knees slightly bent, come into a forward fold. It's my first forward fold in the morning, so I will treat my body and my lower back very gently and inhale halfway lengthen so forward even deeper and bring the left foot back knee down low lunge gaze up chest up and inhale bring the right foot to meet the left knees down chest and chin down hips up and inhale comes through into a cobra i am my lower back these days is very stiff so we'll just do a low cobra and gently push back the hips and lift it up come into a downward facing dog exhale here then bring the left foot in between the hands right knee down chest up lower lunge inhale bring the right foot to meet the left bend forward bend stay here for two rounds of breath it's a not it's not a normal uh, typical sound salutation that you do it with me because i like it slow and sensational i like to feel my body i don't want to speed it up you know just for the purpose of doing the yoga flow i want to feel it so you can feel it with me and slowly inhale round your back lift the arms up into the sky and heart hands together and heart center that's one side now we all do it on the other side inhale lengthen 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 exhale bow down sound salutation inhale halfway lengthen hands on shins exhale right foot back knee down low lunge inhale here exhale bring the left foot back knees chest chain down and come through high low cobra or even upward facing dog as if you feel like so and gently push the hips back 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 and lift it up downward facing dog <sighs> exhale let it out right foot in between hands left knee down gaze up inhale exhale bring the left foot to meet the right 
forward fold. As usual, we'll stay here for a few moments. You can also hold each elbow and let your upper body hang here. <sighs> And as you are ready, gently roll yourself up into standing. That's, that's one round of salutation. All right, now we have done one round of salut sun salutation. And now uh, I hope your body is my body that feels a bit loosened up. And we will enter the flow. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, halfway lengthen, hands on shins. Exhale, bring the left foot back 45 degrees out, toes out, and bend at the right knee, warrior one. Arms up, shoulders down from, away from the ears, and hips square. Gaze forward. As this flow is a bit funky and core strength focused, so we will keep the lower body steady as it is. Keep it very, very steady and very strong. We'll inhale, cactus the hand the arms, open the chest up, exhale, way forward, reach the arms forward, gaze down and inhale up, cactus the arms. Two more times. Exhale, reach forward, round up, inhale, open. Suck the air in, the oxygen in, and exhale. Inhale. The last inhalation, uh, swing the arms all the way back around the lower back area and hold the fist, interlace the fingers, and pull down with the fingers with hands. Chest up, humble warrior, bend over. And from here, gently release the hands down on the mat, gaze forward and pivot the left toes forward, come into a high lunge with hands on the mat. I feel the stretch of the left inner groin, strengthened and stretched. Exhale, strength, straightening the left, the right knee, bend forward, forehead into the right knee, and we'll wave it out. Inhale, bend the right knee, gaze up, chest open, exhale, forward. Straighten the right knee, two more times. Inhale, bend, exhale, straighten. When you exhale, let the air out of your lung. The last one, bring the left foot a bit closer and 45 degrees and we'll come into a pyramid pose. We'll stay here for a few moments. Feel the lengthening of the right hamstring, the stretch, the sensations that it creates, this asana creates in your body. If you feel like so, you can also reach your hands to the top of the mat, extend the arms, and fold even deeper. My face went totally inside my hoodie. <sighs> Very warm. All right, from here, inhale, halfway lift your body, and exhale, bring the right foot back into downward facing dog. Now you can feel the difference between the two legs. I hope, I'm feeling the difference. And walk out your downward doggy on the spot, just to loosen up from the previous asanas. When you are ready, inhale, bring the right, the left foot in between the hands and right foot 45 degrees angle. Lift up in warrior one. Mm. 
this usual we'll do it on this side as well this funky way inhale cactus the arms chest up gaze up exhale bend over your upper body parallel to the ground reach the arms in front and inhale cactus two more times exhale inhale last one exhale inhale swing the hands all the way back and interlace the hands pull inhale and bow down exhale humble warrior i'll stay here for two breaths hold still very strong the legs and gently release the hands on the mat pivot the right toe to face forward and we'll do the lunge and lunge um, bend the left knee inhale exhale forward into the left knee straighten the left knee inhale gaze up exhale straighten inhale exhale the last one bring the right foot a bit closer 45 degrees and we'll come and stay in this pyramid pose arms can be extended out in front of you every time you inhale try to lengthen on the spine exhale come deeper and closer to your side Once you are ready, now we'll bring the right foot to meet the left and come into a wide feet, wide feet, your feet about mat distance. You can um, pivot, you can heel toe your foot, your feet out into mat distance wide and we'll stay in this wide left forward fold a few moments. Dangle. Feel the gravity pulling down your crown, the crown of your head into the floor, loosening up the lower back. Any tension stored there during your sleep? Now let it out. You'll start the day fresh without any negativity. Okay, once you are ready, gently place the hands back on the mat and squat down into yogi squat. Heels in, toes out, spine straight, gaze forward. Elbows push out the knee, hands together. And from here, we'll do another funky waves uh, fun funky random waves so from here place the right hand uh, in the top right corner on the floor and swing all the way up your left arm into a cactus shape like we did when we were in warrior one pose or you can extend the arm our left arm into the sky we'll wave around like this exhale and inhale lift up exhale reach the right corner and inhale open exhale reach swing over inhale open two more times once you are here you can either keep this extend um, chest into the sky pose or if you wish you can you can form a bind behind your left behind your right side right hip with your two hands interlaced make sure that the shoulders are externally rotate rotated and hips open 
chest open. And to release, come back into center. We'll do it on the other side. Place the left hand on the left top corner. Uh, tricep, left tricep, push away the left knee and swing the right arm all the way into the sky or cactus the arm. Exhale, swing down, reach the left hand. Try to reach the left hand and inhale, open three times more. From here, if you want to form a bind, you can and try to open up the chest even more to the right side. And gently release, come back to center and sit yourself down to the mat. Adjust your position, move your hip into the center of the mat. And now let's place the left foot close to the right sit bone and sit up and tall. Bring the right foot, uh, right foot closer to the body, bend the right knee. Now hold the outside of your right foot with your left hand and your body twist into right side and gently lift your right leg up and lift, reach the right hand backwards, come into a twist. If this is too hard, you can always uh, keep the right hand on the floor. Then swing the arm, right arm all the way, cross the left, hold the inner side of your right foot and round the neck and the upper shoulder. Feel the stretch of the back of the neck, core stable, core strong. The stretch of your shoulder blades, your triceps, your back of the neck, and gently release. Place the foot down. Now let's switch side. Place the right sole close to the left sit bone. Sit up and tall. Make sure both sit bones are grounded into the floor. And now hold the outside of the left foot with your right hand. Gently lift the left leg up, kick with the left heel out. In the meantime, pull with the right hand and twist your body to the left. Left hand can be on the mat or if you want, lift it up into a twist. These twistings in the morning also are very beneficial for the digestion. So if you have problems going to the toilet, then maybe do a few twisting. It will help you. Uh, it will help you help your toilet experience. And now swing the left hand all the way into the inner side of the left foot and round over the neck. So the stretch again of your upper back, shoulder, and back of the neck, most importantly. That's the most, at least for me, the most stiff area of my body, my back of the neck and my lower back. Now gently release, exhale, place the foot down, and now bend, lift the right foot, and welcome into a boat pose. Gently lift both shins up, keep the core strong and chest open. You can place the hands underneath the knee to support this pose or if you want, you can lift the arms parallel to the mat next to the legs and hold here 
for three rounds of breath. Suck the belly button in. And now cross the legs and we'll come into a tabletop pose. From here, we'll do a few rounds of cat and cow. Let's do loosen up the spine, okay? And you can do it a bit creatively, a bit uh, your style. You can move the hips around, circling the hips, the neck, bend the arms, any style you want, just to loose up your body. Loose up the spine, the muscles, the stiffness in the body. Once you are ready, come back to center, to stillness. And now let's lift the right leg and bend the right knee and lift the knee up. Inhale also like a cow pose, chest open. Exhale, round up, knees into the chest, try to reach the nose like a cat. Four more rounds. Inhale, lift, lift the knee and the foot. Exhale, bring the knees into the chest, round up the back. Inhale, also imagine that you are kicking with your heels up into the sky. Keep the core strong here. Two more times, in. Out. In. Out. The last one, if you want, try to lift your right, uh, left hand and come to hold the right ankle or right foot and lift the foot up. Feel the stretch of the left shoulder and chest. Gently release, bring the hand down, knee down. And shake a little bit. We'll do it on the other side. Lift the left leg up, bend the right, uh, the left knee, bring it up, 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 and in. Four more times at your own pace. I don't know about you, but I am sweating now, which is good for this gravy cold schlecht weather day <laughs> in Germany. I need some sweat. Last one, cross the right hand all over in the back and hold the right uh, left foot and kick it up. Make sure that you always imagine that you're lifting your knee up. And gently release, hand down, knee down. And now we'll sit on our heel, on our heels for a few moments to stabilize our breath. Just your clothing if you want, or hair. <laughs> Take some big inhale and exhale. Now lift your hip up, welcome into this uh, kneeling position. We'll do, uh, some of you if you want you can do full camel, but I am going to do only half camel today uh, because my lower back hurts, uh, is very sore from the workout. So I'm just going to be gentle to myself, plus it's my first workout of the day and it's my early morning, so I'll just be gentle to myself. 
But if you are having this flow in the afternoon or after a workout, that your body is very flexible and very warmed up, you can always, uh, it's always welcome that you do a full camel. Okay, for some of you who are like me probably, you can even tuck your toes. So to, shorter, to shorten the distance between your hand and your heel, because we are going to touch it. Okay, inhale, hand, arms up. Keep the belly sucked in and uh, uh, not too much around the lower back. Make sure that your, uh, your hip and your lower back is square and it's in the center of right above your knee. Tuck the tailbones in. Exhale, swing the left hand back, try to touch the left heel. It's very easy to touch it if you tuck the toes. However, if you are not tucking the toes, it's a little bit far away. And then you just try to imagine at this position, you push the hips out. Don't try to go down like this. Just try to push the hip out, chest lifted up to the sky, like following this right hand. And in the meantime, reach the left fingertip to the toe. Inhale gently, lift your left arm up to meet the right. Exhale, swing the right back. Reach, reach, reach the right heel. Push the hip forward. Inhale gently, right hand up, and sit back down on your knee, on your heels, and take a breath here. Just to feel the sensations and the blood flow in your body. Now, let's cross the hands behind the lower back, externally rotate the shoulder, opening up the collarbone. You can keep the eyes closed if you want, as I do. And pull down the hands into the mat, lift the chest up, head drop back or just gaze up, and gently forward fold. Keep the hands interlaced. Until your chest rests on your thighs, your forehead rests on the mat. Feel the stretch of the shoulders. Gently release the hands and extend them out in front of you. Key, open the knees a bit wide into a wide knees child's pose. Now come onto our fingertips. Lift the elbows up or a bit up from the mat and gently lift your forehead and bring the right hand, right arm all the way, cross under the left. Rest on your right cheek. Get a stretch of the right outer shoulder. Expansion of this part of the muscles. Exhale, lift yourself up. Inhale, lift yourself up and exhale, cross over the left under the right. Rest on your left cheek. Gently come back to center and 
push yourself up. Now we'll come into the center of the mat again and sit your hips in between your feet. Make sure the feet are a bit wider. Make sure you can sit inside the feet. If there is any problem with your knee, with your knees, uh, I suggest you just stay in child's pose. Don't try to push in this position. However, for those of you who don't have any knee problems, and just make sure that you do this pose very gently to yourself. You sit yourself in between the feet. This is the hero pose. And make sure your spine is lengthened. And then very gently place the hands behind you and little by little come down onto your elbows. Pinch the shoulder blades together so that your neck is protected. Hold the feet if you can, or if you want. Pinch the shoulder blades together. Now drop the head backward so that your neck is protected. Now feel like feel the gravity is pulling your head down so that your neck is open, your chest is open. Breathe. Feel the stretch expansion of the front side of your body. Gently, little by little, push yourself up, head up, and come to sit in the middle of the mat in easy pose, easy sitting pose, Sukhasana. Cross the legs in front of you. Take a deep breath in, out, let out through the mouth. Okay, let's seal our practice by having big inhalation into the lungs, into the chest, and lift the arms up. Exhale, bring this energy, this warmth down into your heart. Bow down to yourself. Namaste. Thank you very much for being here in this flow with me and I feel now my body is much more loosened up and uh, I, I feel better than before this class and I hope that does the same um, benefit to you, to your body and I hope you also enjoy with me. And uh, yeah, so I'll probably see you very soon again, maybe before Christmas. Um, I'll push out another class with you guys. Until then, have a good day, week, and weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.